Like it doesn't have anything to do with Amazon. So it just, you know, if it's working, it is working. It's just not something I'm passionate about anymore. As a matter of fact, what people don't realize is that I'm still selling noodles. I'm just not teaching about it anymore because I want to teach about other things. But I actually still have my Amazon store open and I'm still selling bundles like today. I didn't, I'm not leaving Amazon as far as a seller. I'm leaving Amazon as a teacher. Like, that's why I think what was the thing I tried to bring clarity to. Like someone was asking me like exactly what you said. And my answer to them was the same. It was, oh, I'm still selling bundles. Because I actually had someone ask me if they could buy my store. Because they thought, oh, are you, you're leaving Amazon. Like, is your store for sale? And I was like, actually, I'm still running my store. I'm just not going to teach all Amazon anymore because I want, I have so many things I'm passionate about that I want to speak about. And I can't do all of them. I know that I can't. I can't continue to teach Amazon well and try to teach some other things that I have in, in my heart and in my mind. So, but I'm still running my Amazon store on the side, like on the side, whatever. That's still actually one of my main business revenue generators. So I'm still creating bundles and I've got it down to a well-oiled machine. It's a lot smaller than it used to be um, because I don't want to work that hard anymore at that. Like I'd rather create training than to do that. But we are still, our store is still open and we're still actively selling bundles like today. So it's just, I'm not, I guess when I said I'm leaving Amazon, I, maybe I wasn't clear enough about that. Like I'm leaving the teaching space of Amazon. But I'm still selling there. So maybe I didn't say that enough um, until someone reached out and was like, let me buy some of your bundles. If they're doing well, can you transfer them over to me? And I was like, well, that was a great question. I love that they had the balls to ask. Um, but then just to say, no, because we're still using those and selling those. Like, why would we stop that? That doesn't make any sense. But I'm actually still a successful Amazon seller. I just don't want to teach about Amazon anymore because frankly, I'm bored with it. I'm annoyed with it. Like I want to talk about other things that have to me have more value than just talking about Amazon and how you can make millions there. Because I absolutely believe that people can make millions doing something they love. And if they don't love Amazon, they can make a lot of money doing something they do love. Because like you, like you're doing something you love to do. If it's keeping you up till three in the morning and you're working on it and you wake up thinking about it and you're excited about it, that's what you're meant to do, at least right now. And so that's all I want to tell people is that like Amazon is just like, okay, I really figured this out. It's a, it's a well-oiled machine. I launch a couple bundles two, three times a year. I set it and forget it. My, my prep center handles all that. I put out fires once a week on Amazon and then I move on with my life. And most of that has been teaching Amazon. I've been mommy income and creating content and, and creating training and doing the hub and all that. It's just that part of me is I just don't want to talk about that stuff anymore. I mean, it works and it's still great. It's just, you know, I'm like, nah, I'm over it. Like, I want to talk about other things. And so I think it was hard. It's hard to maybe say that publicly where people don't understand that. Well, if something's so good and something rings really well, why wouldn't you be? And I'm like, because it's been 10 years. Like, I've been doing this for a long time. I'm like, just, you ever just been over something? Like, <laughs> huh? You're just like, yeah, well, um, that doesn't make sense to a lot of people. And that's okay. Um, but it makes sense to me. And so if I, if there's some way we can utilize that, like bundles are not dead. As a matter of fact, I'm still doing them. I just don't want to teach about them anymore. <laughs> I don't know that. I know that makes no sense to people, but um, that's the truth. So if we can use that in some sort of way, something like that guy, it's like, oh yeah, it's fine. She's just leaving because like I said, I feel boxed in by my expertise and I have so much more to share. So I'm just stepping out of the box and sharing overall what I've learned more about business, about influencing, about marketing, about launching, about making money off of your knowledge and not just selling physical product. Um, so it's almost like a graduation. It's not necessarily a, you know, it could be like a retirement, I guess, but it's more about a graduation. Like you don't go back to college once you finish, unless you're going for another degree. You know, it's like I'm leveling up. That's what it looks like to me. Like retirement maybe sounds, seems like you're stepping down, but I'm not stepping down. I'm stepping up. And I just don't know how to explain that to people or do I have to? I don't I don't know that I have to. Um, but all that to say to for you to understand that part of the messaging, maybe we can frame that in a way that makes more sense to people of, you know, this is just a. It was just one of the chapters in the book of life that I'm walking through and I don't have to stay in the same chapter every time. And it doesn't mean it's bad. It just means that it's I've outgrown it, maybe. Like, I don't know how to say that. It doesn't sound arrogant. It just means like, I don't know. 